Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions. Today we are showing you an alternative proof of Theorem 1. Remember Theorem 1, it says perpendicular line from center bisect chord. Okay, let me not write the statement. Uh, no, maybe I should write it. So the statement of this theorem says if a line from uh if a line is drawn from center of a circle if a line is drawn from center of a circle perpendicular to comma perpendicular to to a chord comma then it bisects then it bisects the chord right then it bisects the chord so let's read it afresh if a line is drawn from center of a circle perpendicular to a chord then it bisects the chord Remember, to bisect means to cut into two equal halves, okay? So, here you are given center O with line OP that is perpendicular to chord AB. And you must prove AP is equal to PB, right? Okay. So, what we're going to do then is this. We, first thing first, for our proof, oh, by the way, I should also give you the reason here. Whenever you quote this rule or this theorem, you will be saying perpendicular from center bisect chord. Bisect chord. Right? Bisect chord. Right? So, what we need to do now for our proof we need to prove that AP is equal to PB okay so first and first we draw OA and OB let's go to the diagram this is O so OA must be a line joining these two so it'll be OA and then OB okay so we drew them now, as we can see, we have two triangles here, right? We have two triangles here, which is triangle OPA and OPB, right? So, now we will say in triangle OPA and triangle OPB, I want you now to look at this. We have angle OPA equals 90 degrees. And angle OPB is also equal to 90 degrees. Right? Good. So, angle OPA is equal to angle OPB. This is equal to 90 degrees, right? But where do we get that from? We It is given, right? It is given in the diagram, right? Great. Now, we have side OA. Side OA is equal to side OB. I want you to look at it. OA is equal to OB. What is the reason? OA is a radius. Same applies to OB. So these are equal radii. So the reason is equal radii. Right? Then, I want you to look at another side. What side is given that we know some information on? I think we know this side, OP. All right? So, we can therefore say OP equals OP. It's okay to say that. Why? It's a common side. Why am I saying it's a common side? Triangle OPA has side OP. Triangle OPB also has side OP. So this is a common 
side all right now we can say therefore triangle OPA is congruent to triangle OPB pay attention to the order all right now why do we say this it's because we see this is a 90 degrees so it's R and equal radii when I look at the radii here they are the hypotenuse of this right of these right angle triangles so R H S is the rule now having said that remember when we talk congruency all sides all corresponding sides are equal and all corresponding angles are equal therefore we can say AP is equal to PB right AP is equal to PB therefore OP bisects AB okay OP bisect OB okay all right let me come to the previous page be careful of how we used congruency rules okay so this is how you prove it guys so with that being said um, it's a wrap see you next time and bye bye